The following program contains mature subject matter. Viewer discretion is advised. We're talking to journalist John Barr and Dan Murphy, whose new book, Start by Believing, investigates the largest sex abuse scandal in American sports history. Two of the survivors, Jamie Dancher and Sarah Klein, also join us recounting their stories. And Sarah, we've been talking a little bit about the toxic culture. Can you talk about the first time that you were actually abused by Nasser? Yeah, so I started uh, gymnastics when I was five years old. And by eight years old, I started competing. Mm -hmm. And Nasser arrived uh, at our gym as an athletic trainer. He was not yet a doctor, and he was not yet even in medical school. And we were sent to this back room in our gym, no access uh, to the back room by parents or anybody else. Um, and he started by taping ankles, shin splints, very simple things. And that very quickly progressed to massage, um, treating, you know, injuries. And shortly thereafter, you know, it was, can you take your leotard down? I need to access this part of your back. Can you pull your leotard up? I need to access this part of your body to, can you please take your leotard off? And he began penetrating us um, very early on. And Sarah, you spoke specifically in your victim impact statement about how he would disguise the assault as medicine. So can you tell us how he was able to do that? Yeah, Larry was very great at giving technical explanations and he would speak the entire time he was treating you. So he would say, I'm gonna loosen this ligament and now I'm going to massage this muscle and release this. Um, and so it all you know, sounded really legitimate and, and he used medical terms into an eight year old. <laughs> And is this why he would be digitally penetrating you? Absolutely. At eight years of age? I need to release this muscle. I need to align your tailbone. I need to release your hips and loosen up your you know, groin area. It all sounded so very you did, legitimate. You had no idea what was really going on. Absolutely at no that idea. Age, which is he wasn't obviously even a doctor at this point? He was not yet a doctor. No, he was a volunteer athletic trainer. He walked into the gym and said, I want to volunteer. It's going to look good on my medical school applications. But some thing that I find very interesting is Larry Nassar received a varsity letter as a high school student for women's gymnastics. So how far back this fetish wow. with young women and, and women in leotards started um, was high school. I'll also mention Larry was a lovely human being. He was, I describe him to be like a Labrador puppy. The, the smiliest, kindest, always had a hug, always had something kind to say. He was the good cop to our coach's bad cop. And so he was very loved. And he also groomed our parents. Our parents loved him, our families loved him. He you know, came to our birthday parties and brought us gifts. And I went to his wedding. I was a guest at his wedding. He was, he was part of the family. He, he was one of the most formative male figures in our lives and the kindest.